32 brace release on the rear. Y'all need anything else? Hello, Birmingham. Number two, uh, info. Hey, you ready for this 226? Yeah. Yeah, sure, bring him on. The U.S. railroads have a big problem on their hands. Over the course of the next 25 years, there's going to be a doubling of the U.S. freight requirement. All railroads are faced with capacity issues as business increases, as population increases. That's where Movement Planner as a G solution comes into play. It enables more locomotives to be on the same rail, move faster, so your capacity actually increases. We're expecting to see velocity increases anywhere from 15 to 20 percent, which equates to three or four miles per hour. So every time we expand to a new corridor, we're going to see that corridor get better. The software itself is doing what the dispatchers do. The problem is, is that we're limited by the abilities of humans to comprehend the large picture. What Movement Planner does is it looks eight hours in advance and it tries to figure out what it can do to get that train back on schedule without negatively impacting any of the other trains. It starts out with a description of the railroad's operating plan. What flights are we supposed to run today? It can work that all out in a fraction of a second. A movement planner helps me see the best route to get the trains to the destinations. actually take one ton of freight, 486 miles, with one gallon of fuel. That leads to improved emissions, and it helps the economy as well. A lot of people have tried to do this, but it takes two partners, one being a supplier, one being within the industry. You know, when we started this project many years ago, we knew that we wanted to get to this holy grail of movement planning. It's a huge productivity gain for the railroad, and it's a huge way to continue serving the market as it expands.